Hi everybody, it's Heather at Little Bird Blythe. Today I thought I would show you how to make a pair of doll underwear, doll pants as we say in the UK, but that's not trousers, that's undergarments and that's knickers as well to, um, to the UK audience. So I've got here three sets of pants, three sets of underwear that I've made for different dolls. Um, this is a uh, pure Nemo um, body, which is the jointed body, which is slightly bigger bum on this particular one um, and these are both just standard um, Blythe, Neo Blythe bodies. Um, obviously different style of underwear, this is like a longer sort of short uh, bloomer type underwear and these are like little um, low rise shorts uh, made out of lace as well. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I realised I didn't have enough underwear for all of my dolls. I have got a, quite a few pairs but um, you, you know you can never find any when you're looking for them because they're so small and I thought you know what I'll just make a few pairs and then I thought I would show you the process as well so um, if you bear with me I'll show you how to make these uh, I don't like my dolls to go without knickers you see um, so <laughs> and I don't know how many of you are the same um, so excuse the doll um, nudity there but I figured I'd get away with it because there are no heads on these so technically they're not dolls they're just doll bodies so they're doll parts from my point of view uh, and it's just for illustration so um, the first pair I'm going to show you how to make is these ones um, very quick and easy uh, and you almost don't need to sew almost but not quite so you're using a bit of um, lace and this is lace with some giving it so it's got a, some elastane elastic content to it so it's a bit stretchy and you're going to utilize that stretch to your advantage so that they're easier to put on and off and the depth of the lace let me just grab my ruler here is um, about an inch so possibly a tiny tiny bit over an inch so um, I'm using white but really you can use any colour um, but I like white personally. Now what you're going to do is cut um, two pieces the same from this lace and the top part is going to be slightly narrower than the base. So you're going to cut um, so that the waist part is about, um, about an inch and a half, an inch and three quarters wide and the base is about just over two inches wide so you'll end up uh, with two pieces that fit together easily like that okay now here's for the nice and easy bit you will need a bit of time um, to do this is get yourself some glue um, high tack fabric glue is the one I use um, and I find this is really good uh, and it is permanent and what you will do is get your glue and put glue down the side of one of the pieces of fabric. So that's not going to come out now, is it? Oh, there we go, it's going to go everywhere as well. So just put a thin line, you don't want it squeezing everywhere. I'm watching what I'm doing rather than watching the camera, but here we go. So you pop a thin line. And then you'll lay the top half, the top part rather, on there. That's it. And that is it. And then you're going to set it aside to dry. There we go. So that's using um, a really good fabric glue that's permanent. Just quickly wipe that up before I end up sticking my dolls to the table. There we go. So there we go. So that's to one side drying now. This is what will happen. You will end up with a piece of fabric that's stuck on both sides like that. Now this is the bit of sewing that you're going to have to do and it's not a lot. I haven't tried it with just glue. I don't think it would be strong enough with just glue. So I am sewing it. So get yourself a needle and thread with similar colour cotton. And then what you're going to do is take, open up the lace and the two longer sides, you're going, the two longer corners you're going to put together like that. OK, 
keep it with the um, the glued bits on the outside if you know what I mean and then what we're going to do is sew that bottom corner so you're going from that to this and then we're going to sew this corner so basically just the very very corner I hope this is making sense just going to pop a few stitches to hold it doesn't have to be neat it is literally just to hold those two bits of fabric together at that edge and it is literally just a few stitches right in the middle so do not sew there because that's where the legs are going to be coming out it's literally just that bit in the middle I'm going to anchor it well so that the stitching doesn't come undone you might find it's a bit stiff because uh, obviously there's, there's glue at that bit right so now you can see the shape of the knickers I'm going to turn it the right way round so the seams are on the inside and there you've got yourself a pair of little doll shorts exactly the same as that you can obviously if you want to sew instead of using the glue so you could sew down the sides and I have done that uh, with some but actually um, if you want quick and easy uh, you don't mind the drying time to be honest with you the glue holds up really really well it's very robust and I've made quite a few pairs and they all seem absolutely fine I don't know how long they'll last um, but they it seems fine honestly really holding up well so that's the first pair so nice quick and easy um, using some elasticated lace looks very pretty I did do an alternative version where I cut a sort of small piece of gusset out of some felt because you don't you have to be careful about using fabric that's going to fray because it's such a tiny piece so I cut a tiny piece out of some felt and added a gusset on it but in all honesty the shorts without the gusset look just as good as the ones with the gusset so it's a step that you don't need to take so there you go so that's the first pair Right, the second pair is using a very, very similar technique, uh, but we're using some wider lace, and again, we're using elasticated way, uh, elasticated lace. So this has got a real good stretch to it, and once again, we're cutting out a piece that is smaller at the top than at the bottom. So it's not triangle; it's like a triangle with the top cut off. So it's uh, large enough for the waist sit at the waist but obviously it's longer um, and it's going to go out a little bit so you get a slightly more flared leg now what you would do is the same as I did with the first lace is the two pieces of fabric you glue but only glue halfway about an inch down so it would give you the same amount as the first set of shorts so glue down the side there or so I did actually sew these particular ones don't glue or sew all the way to the bottom so you end up there with a sort of skirt with a split and then what you're going to do exactly the same as we did with the other shorts we fold it the other way around and then with your needle and thread or you can use glue again you could glue down here down the sides and press them together or as I did needle and thread and sew up and round to make the legs and once that's done you'll end up when you turn it the right way around you'll end up with a pair of lacy short pants I hope that's clear uh, if there are any questions please put them in the comments below um, and I'll do my best to answer them so again nice and quick and easy um, I did use my needle on those but like I say you, you probably would get away using the glue with that as well right the third pair um, I wanted something substantial for my um, jointed body blithes so I cut myself a little pattern and that's here and I used some fabric which is actually a uh, velvet 
it's a crushed velvet I think um, but it's again it's the elasticated type so this is really inexpensive fabric when you cut it just bear in mind um, little fibers do come off now it doesn't fray I picked this because it doesn't fray generally the edges don't but when you cut it you do get a lot of fiber shed so you'll end up with little tiny fibers of velvet all over your scissors and all over your desk so just bear that in mind um, and if you don't like dust probably not the fabric to use but because it's got that elastic in it and it's and it doesn't fray it actually makes pants really easy to make uh, because they're small you don't want to have to be hemming small things really if you can avoid it um, it's it's nice and easy to use so I use my pattern and cut out you only need one cut out this shape um, I'm happy to share the pattern with people if they want it so let me know if you'd like to use the same pattern and um, we'll sort out a way of getting it to you it might be that I put it in my shop at a, an extremely extremely low downloadable cost so that you can actually get hold of it and you can download it yourselves then but um, I've not actually done any downloadables before so I'll have to figure out how to do that alternatively I can, I'm sure I can sort out some emailing um, to people if necessary anyway so these pants here um, these little V cut out are darts so that it makes the waist trimmer so you can see there where I've sewn the darts um, and what we are going to do first is sew those darts up so we are going to get a needle and thread I'm sorry this one isn't glue but we'll get a needle and thread and sew the side of the darts So there you go, so they're the front dots and then what we're going to do is put the two back pieces together there and we're going to sew all the way along here. Okay, so that's now the back part sewn. What we're then going to do is pop the gussets together and we're going to sew the gusset edges together along there. So just sew along there.
Okay, so there you go, the pants are formed. So we've got the two darts at the front and the gusset and the back is sewn up. So then we'll turn it the right way round and you have a lovely pair of pants, which look so cute, a bit 50s retro. And because it's made out of the faux um, velvet, to say faux velvet because it's not silk velvet, it's cheap cheap elasticy velvet um, it actually hides a multitude of sins so um, yeah so your sewing doesn't have to be perfect and you don't have to tuck the seams uh, you don't have to tuck the edges in if you don't want you can sew those so there you go anyway babbling on again as usual so I finished so I hope you enjoyed that I hope it made sense um, if you want the pattern please leave me a comment down below and i'll figure out a way of sorting that out for people uh, but that's basically three quick and easy ways of making knickers for your dolls let's keep them decent shall we on camera and uh, and in our displays and um, i hope you guys are having a fantastic week so far it's only monday here um, and if you're watching this later and you're not subscribed to me do think about um, pressing the subscribe button to my channel and click the notification bell if you'd like to know when I upload future dolly videos and if you have enjoyed this video please do give me a thumbs up because that is much appreciated. Um, hope you're having some dolly fun, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers, bye!